idea is to have different now things as long as they create this feeling yeah. bringing communities together. That's the most important thing for me at the moment. You know? Yeah. So Nadim, yeah, Nadim, many, many thanks. So uh, uh, you know, excuse me, I intervene. I have a small question, but I was waiting for everyone to finish their questions. Yeah, we have to finish in two to three minutes, okay? I'll, I'll wrap so it really ahead. quickly. Thank you, Nadim. I've always been a fan of your work and teaching a design studio at LEU regarding the folies and the Rida's text on Chumi's folies. So we go into a lot of notions of pavilions. How does it uh... Your line is cutting. Sorry, hello. Can you hear me clearly now? No, I can hear Le you. But Le we can hear you, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I was saying that uh, I'm teaching now a course at LAU regarding folies. So the students basically need to intervene on the city uh, doing a folly. Yeah. And we've been into lots of theory. And I wonder why we, I don't see any politics in your uh, pavilions or installations because we like when I tackle theory in my course, the students cannot ever discuss issues of the city without discussing politics. And I have a question when you mention about the president and the prime minister who literally did the bombing, according to, to my opinion. And as you said, all of us were affected. I was literally 50 centimeters away from a man who was crushed in front of me. And the trauma now keeps asking me, why was it him, not me, who died? So yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's the so, same for us. So yeah. whenever I hear the word of president, prime minister, anyone affiliated with the state, I get that traumatic cycle erupting again. Don't you think these people should be really cut off from that project of yours at the port? Of course. I mean, I don't even think of them. It's not that do I think they should or should not. I just don't think of them. You know, it's different. If you want to do projects and get them through in such conditions, you cannot, I mean, the apolitical opinion is the most important because that's not what we're seeking. I mean, the, the thing, idea is that we're talking about victims. Do they have their own affiliation? Maybe they had, but at the end, they are corpses. They are people who died due to what the others have done. And, uh, of course, I'm somebody who is uh, saying that we should have a new suit in Lebanon and get the rest away, but I don't get into these discussions because they could be like those shout and silence. They could be just shouting. I can argue until tomorrow. You can answer with other argument until after tomorrow and we reach nowhere. But when there is a project to submit, when there is an idea to develop, these do not need necessarily politicians. Uh, they need creativity, they need endeavor, they need community brought together. They need all those other issues in order for them to happen. Politicians can stop them, yes. So that's why the project, I never say I finished it before it is standing because it's true. If by the way, politicians get into encountering this, they could or adopt it, which I don't want, that this party adopts it against the other, or they could stop it because of politi political issues, if you want. So we're talking and we're still working on a level where nobody knows what we're doing until it happens. Even now, the social media has no idea of this project and we should not have any idea of this project. And I'm telling all of you, it's a confidential project until we start it on social media, which is just at the end, at the time where it could be, I'm sure it's finishing and I'm sure it's standing. So you're right, I think politics, or I personally think politics has nothing to do with it and should have nothing to do with it. Although it's all about politics. Robert wrote once about this in, in an article that the apolitical is a political act. And it's the political act that's very difficult to get through things, you know? Like I feel that for us to construct this, the gesture, we've created our own government, you know? 
And I also know that if this project has to be sponsored financially by anybody, it will not happen. So that's why I go to people, I say, it's not the issue of you have to put or you have to pay for sponsorship. It's the issue of you doing your part. And this other person, it's the issue of you doing your part. The, the, the developer has to pay us money, although maybe I have this money to pay, but it's a collaborative thing that we should all of us participate into. I mean, it's a, it's a due to all of us to get this country moving. And we're not talking about the country, we're talking now about a simple, small sculpture of eight floors. That what, what, what I'm doing, I always put myself like you, and you could have been, it's this guy died 50 centimeters from you. I could have been that person. So we all have the same thinking process. So the gesture when it happens, it's nothing, nothing, nothing compared to the scale of what happened. It's just a small gesture. That's why it's called the gesture because however big it is, let's say it's two kilometers high, it's still nothing. People died, people, people were injured, people, I mean, you have been injured in your mind. I have been injured. People in front of me have been. I'm sure Robert has been. So we all are in the same trauma, what uh, we call trauma. And we're trying each one to heal it in a way or in another. I hope this project happen. It will happen if politicians do not interfere in it. Let me put it this way. Uh, thank you very much for this impressive work.